Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English faculty, Padmini, and in today's video lesson, you will learn how to talk about your home. The first thing you can talk about is where you live. So where do you live or where is your house? Both mean the same. So when you want to say where your home is, you can say it in different ways. You can say, I live in Delhi at Nehru Nagar, for example. Or you can say, I live next to the central station. My house is next to the central station. So you can give some landmark so that the other person knows where exactly you live. You can also say, my house is next to the Reliance supermarket. You can say, do you know Reliance supermarket? My house is next to that. Or you can say, it's next to the library. If the other person knows where, your, where the library is, he will perhaps be able to know where your home is. The next thing you can say is, my house is a clock tower, the locality, the place. Or in a simple way you can say, I live in an apartment. I live in an independent house. I live in a two bedroom house. I live in a two bedroom apartment. Or you can say, I live in a small two story house in the suburbs. If you want to give the exact address, you can say, I live in street number 10, soap factory lane. This is just an example. So you can write, you or you can say by giving your exact street number or the lane, the name of the lane. So this is the first thing you talk about. Where is your house? The next thing you can talk about is, what's your home like? So how is it? You can add nice interesting details. For example, you can say, I live in an apartment. My house has a living room, two bedrooms, a kitchen and a storeroom. So this is a very simple way of talking about what your home is like. Another way you can talk about this by adding some more details. You can say, my house has a big drawing room, a dining room, three spacious bedrooms, a study and a kitchen. So this is another way of putting it. You can also say, there are two balconies, a terrace where we sit in the evenings when the weather is nice. Adding some more details. Now let's look at one more example. My house is a duplex house. My house is a duplex house. What is a duplex house? A duplex has two house has two floors. My house is a duplex house. The living room, the dining room and the kitchen are on the ground floor. The bedroom and the study, the bedrooms and the study room are on the first floor. We have a garage and a patio. What is a patio? Patio is a space where you sit in front of the house. And in the backyard, there's a small vegetable garden. So you're adding some more details with each example. Now let's look at the next example. I live in a three bedroom apartment on the second floor. There is a living room, a dining room, three bedrooms and a kitchen. The bedrooms are very spacious. Spacious means very big, lot of space. The bedrooms are very spacious, but the other rooms are very small. We have a beautiful modular kitchen. We have a big balcony where we have some plants. So this is one more example. Now the next thing you can talk about is what you like about your home. I'm sure there are some things that you particularly like, like about your home. So, for example, you can say, my house is very spacious and well furnished. It is also well ventilated, well ventilated. What does it mean? It means that there is a lot of, there are lots of doors, windows from where you can get fresh air. So you can say, my house is 
well ventilated so there is plenty of sunlight and fresh air coming in another example my apartment faces the sea so there is always a cool breeze blowing in or you could simply say my house is in the center of the town so it's very convenient so these are the ways you can uh, talk about what you like about your house the next question would be what you don't like about your house so there may be one or two things that you may not particularly like in your home so let's look at those examples now my house is nice but it is so noisy because it's in a commercial area or you can say for example I live on the fourth floor of an apartment it gets really hot during summer another example I like my house but it's too small and cramped it gets really congested when we have guests so this is about what you don't like about your home the next thing you can talk about is who lives in your home you can say I live with my parents my wife and my children or you can say I live in a flat I share it with two of my college mates or another example if you're living alone you can say I live by myself in a one bedroom apartment now let's put all these ideas together to make some sentences to describe your home for example I live in a bungalow in the suburbs the house is very big and spacious there is a big garden in front of the house we have a garage where we keep the cars there is a patio where we sit in the evenings the area we live in is very quiet and peaceful there aren't many shops and houses around but there is a park where I take a walk every morning it is not convenient because I have to drive to the city to buy things sometimes it's boring because there isn't much to do look at this description it's talking about your home in an interesting manner you talk about all the points that we have covered where you live who do you live with what does your home look like and it also talks about what you like about your home what you don't like about your home so this is how you talk about your home and make it very interesting so I'm sure you enjoyed watching this video and you have now learned how to talk about your home speak with confidence and ease and naturally when you make sentences make them sound natural as well when you speak do like share and subscribe to our videos we'll come back with more videos for you give us our feedback give us your valuable feedback and suggestions so that we can come out with better videos for all of you thank you for watching see you soon